What's up YouTube? This is Josh Hewitt from Top Form Fitness. Once again, it's time to do it with Hewitt. In this video, I wanted to talk about something that I now consider to be one of the foundations of health and wellness, and that is meditation. Meditation has so many benefits, it just, in my opinion, doesn't make sense not to incorporate it into your lifestyle. Uh, it's been proven to improve happiness, increases your awareness, improves focus, it reduces the uh, aging process so you get to live longer and look younger for longer. It also improves your overall health in numerous ways, improving heart health, brain health, uh, longevity, reducing incidence of disease, reduces overall stress, and ultimately it increases your acceptance of the way things are. And this is very important. If you live in a state of resistance, you're going to be constantly enchaining yourself to suffering. So with all of these benefits, I look at meditation as a foundational element to your health and wellness program. And from there, you're going to build off of it with your exercise, your nutrition, your rest and well-being from that baseline. So in this video, I not only want to talk about the benefits of meditation, but how you can incorporate some basics of mindfulness meditation into your daily routine. There are many different forms of meditation and they're all valid, they all have benefits. The form of meditation that I prefer is called mindfulness meditation. And basically all that means is being very aware of your present experience with total acceptance. So this doesn't mean you want to try to blank your mind out completely or be absent of thought or zone out. It just means you actually, the, almost the opposite. You want to be very aware of your current situation. You want to increase your focus of what is what is happening right now in this present moment, but you want to be in a state of acceptance of that. So you don't want to carry judgment. You don't want to be uh, in a place of resistance to what's happening. So there are three different forms of mindfulness meditation that you can use. There's formal meditation, which is actually what I'm going to demonstrate first, which is actually setting aside some time, preferably a minimum of 10 minutes up to 45 minutes. If you can do that once or twice a day, if you're going to be able to set aside a longer period of time, once a day or once every couple of days is, is adequate. If you're not going to be able to set aside that much time in one sitting, then perhaps setting aside 10 to 15 minutes in the morning and then in the evening will benefit you as well. So formal meditation is where you're actually going to sit down, set aside time specifically for performing your mindfulness meditation. Informal meditation is where you're going to carry this mindfulness into daily activities, daily routine activities. This could be even just brushing your teeth, having a shower in the morning, eating, uh, anything that uh, you can do as a routine, you don't have to think about it too much, where you can just focus on the activity, be very mindful of what's happening. And this is especially useful for myself now uh, with exercise. My, my workouts have become an opportunity for informal mindfulness meditation. I'm really focusing on every movement, concentrating on the feelings in my body, what muscles I'm using, engaging my muscles in every repetition, being very, very present in that experience. Uh, and then there's intensive, and this is setting aside several days to, uh, for example, have a meditation retreat. Um, and this is something that I haven't done yet, but is definitely on my agenda. Uh, I've, uh, I've, I've been intending to go to a 10-day meditation retreat. And this is a, at a meditation resort where all you're doing is meditating. That you have some guided instruction at the beginning and then there's no speaking to other people, uh, there's no eye contact, there's no connection, there's no reading, there's no internet, there's no books, there's no writing. It's just you in nature with a place to sleep and some food provided and you meditate. You completely concentrate on the moment and be aware of yourself and what's happening right now. And you practice being in a place of acceptance. And this can be very transformational. So let's get right into an example of formal mindfulness meditation. First of all, find a comfortable, somewhat private location where you can focus on being very present in the moment and concentrate on solely your breathing. Uh, ultimately the goal of mindfulness meditation would be to be in a place of acceptance of whatever is around you. So whether there's distractions or not that you can be very present and aware of all of that. But to build that habit of concentration we want to keep it very simple initially and the, the primary element to focus on is your breath. So the breath you'll notice when you quiet yourself and you listen to the breathing, obviously this is happening without you trying. You're going to be breathing no matter what. So we're going to use that as a very constant, simple thing to focus on. And all we want to do at this point in the, in the mindfulness practice, in the meditation practice, is to concentrate on the breath. So find that comfortable position, either sitting or on a chair or cross-legged on the ground. <clears throat> 
arms on the sides of your legs, preferably with palms open, but however you're comfortable. Spine somewhat erect, but not too rigid. You don't want to make yourself uh, uncomfortable or sit unnaturally. And then this practice can be done eyes open or eyes closed, because as I said, you want to be very aware of your present moment. So at an advanced state of this practice, you can have your eyes open, but focus very close to the ground in front of you so you don't have a lot to take in, and then gradually work up to a longer great gaze to take in more. But initially, let's practice this with eyes closed. So all you're going to be focusing on is your breath. Let yourself quiet down in this position and just be aware of your breath. You'll notice that you don't have to make yourself breathe. It happens naturally. Let the breath rise and fall normally. And you can either focus on the rising of the breath into your abdomen, into your stomach, and feel the, the lifting of your rib cage or the expanding of your stomach as you breathe in, and then letting it fall as you exhale. Alternatively, you may be more comfortable with feeling the air coming into your nose and out of the nose. Whichever way you choose to focus on the breath, just be aware of it, naturally breathing in and out, in and out. Spend several minutes focusing just on the breath, concentrating on the breath, the rising and falling, or the feel of the air entering your nostrils and coming out of your nostrils. What you'll find is after a few minutes, most likely, thoughts will start to enter your mind, distracting thoughts of what you should do next, or perhaps you'll be thinking, oh, I can't do this, I can't focus, or I'm not very good at it, my mind is racing, or I have something better I could be doing. Whatever it might be, you're going to have thoughts. And as we talked about, the key with mindfulness meditation is to be in total acceptance of those thoughts. Don't judge them. But when you notice that, congratulate yourself for noticing that you're having these thoughts, and come back to the breath. That's the discipline in this practice, to simply keep coming back to the breath. So, when your mind wanders and you start to follow a thought down a path and get distracted or you're tempted to get up and make a note or do something, just be aware that you've noticed that and keep coming back to the breath. Don't judge yourself, don't be hard on yourself. Just allow those thoughts to come, be aware of them, and let them pass as if you're observing clouds passing in the sky. They're not bad or good. Whatever thoughts come are totally fine. You allow them. You're not trying to be absent of thought. You're just trying to be very aware of your thoughts. All thoughts are okay. But keep coming back to the breath. That's the discipline. Perhaps after several minutes, you'll find that you've been off in a daydream or you follow the thought to your day tomorrow, what your plans are, and that's okay too. Once you become aware of that, once again, come back to the breath and congratulate yourself for noticing, for being aware. Following the breath is the concentration element of mindfulness meditation. After several minutes of following the breath, if you find that you're, you become very proficient at this, you're able to observe thoughts but not get carried away with them, or perhaps you've noticed that it's been several breaths before you even have a thought come up. If you find it very easy for your mind to become still, then you can choose to take on the mindfulness aspect of it. And that is where you allow your mind to focus or your attention to focus on whatever is the, on the forefront of your awareness. So this could be a sensation in your body for for example, perhaps your lower back is stiff or you have tension in your shoulders. Perhaps it's a worry or some anxiety you have or something you think you should be doing. Whatever that comes up in the forefront of your, of your consciousness, then you will intentionally focus on that. Again, the key is to observe and be aware of it, not get carried away with it and not to resist it. So if you're choosing a body sensation, maybe we'll focus on being aware of the tightness in your shoulders, but try not to move and unwind it unless you really need to. Just be aware of it. Just sit in a, in a state of awareness and acceptance of what is. Perhaps it's a, a thought of something that you, you need to be doing, a deadline or something you're worried about in your life. 
Again, just observe that without getting carried away with it. Be aware of that thought. How does it make you feel? What are the physical sensations that accompany that? You can be mindful of that for several minutes, still being very present and aware in this moment and not getting carried away into that whole drama. This increases your ability to deal with these things as they arise in your life without trying to push them away or fix them. And being in the state of acceptance and awareness not only improves your present state focus, but improves your coping mechanisms in all cases. So it's a really, really valuable skill. And it's very different from most, how most of us tend to deal with these things as they arise. If you find you're getting carried away and you can't really focus on, the, on these, these things that come up into your state of awareness or the thoughts or the body sensations, then just keep coming back to the breath. That's the simplest element. It may take several days of meditation or even weeks of just concentration meditation on the breath for you to be open to incorporating this mindfulness aspect without getting caught up in, in the, the feeling or, or forcing yourself to need to deal with it in that moment. But this is a very valuable skill and if you can hone this skill in formal meditation practice such as this, then you can carry it into daily activities, into informal practice as well. And this will have multiple benefits in your, in your daily life. So now that we've uh, looked at the basics of uh, formal meditation, let's look at some elements of informal meditation, informal practice. So one example that I mentioned as far as informal practice of this uh, mindfulness meditation is with your training or exercise routine. And I've been using this uh, with all of my workouts, like I said. Basically, just being completely aware of every movement you're doing, really focusing on the movement, being aware of how your body feels while you're doing that, and not letting yourself get carried away into distracting thoughts in the process. So, <clears throat> an example would be to exhale on exertion, feel the muscles that are involved, triceps, shoulders, feel your feet planted on the floor, really be aware of your core muscles bracing, of the mid-back involvement, Feel the breath, feel the weight in your hands on every repetition, strongly contracting the muscles that you're focusing on using. Every repetition is very deliberate. And this in itself can become a form of mindfulness. Other examples include brushing your teeth because it's very routine. It's something you don't have to really think about, having a shower, uh, shaving, for example, in the morning. Eating can be an example of mindfulness in an informal setting as well. If you take your time with it, really chew every bite, really take your time swallowing, tasting small bites. Better done when you're eating alone, obviously. One thing you may find helpful with formal meditation is to actually count your breath. So if you find just being aware of your abdomen rising and falling or the uh, air entering your nose is not enough to stop you from being distracted with the thoughts and sort of sidetracked onto other things, your to-do lists and whatnot. Actually counting every breath or thinking in your head the words in, out, or rising, falling, that can help you stay focused or concentrated on the object of attention, which is your breath in that case. So this is just a really basic overview, an introduction to meditation. Uh, mindfulness is, like I said, the practice that I think has the best carryover to your regular daily life activities. Um, but if you're just beginning out, I recommend you pick up some resources. Two of the really good ones that I've used that I, I highly recommend is uh, the Mindfulness Solution and also How to Meditate. And this is a practical guide to making friends with your mind by Pima Children. And on both of the websites for these resources, there are free downloads you can use for guided meditation. That's a great way to start is just to have an audio to follow along. So someone is actually taking you through, coaching you through the breath, the relaxation, how to focus your attention and other elements of mindfulness. So on the websites for the both of these resources, mindfulness-solution.com and on soundstrue.com, you'll find free resources to download. I'll post the links to those down below as well. Recommend you go and download some of those free, uh, those free MP3s and start your meditation practice today. If you have any questions, post them down below. And until next time, stay strong.